Okay, so don't mind me. I took a shower, um, but I just took all my makeup off, threw my hair up because I have to go clean all day today. Um, but I'm going to start um, a crock pot meal since I don't know when I'm going to be home. This way, supper's ready. I'm going to do those Barocco tacos. Um, so I've got a roast here. Those are like those beef tacos. Sorry, people are still sleeping, so I don't want to be too loud. Those are like those beef tacos. Um, like, you know, you have the corn tortilla, and then you put the beef in, and then you put the cheese, and then the cilantro. So, that's what that is. Um, but I have, so, I don't, I don't know if I've ever showed you guys, but I have a book, a binder of recipes. And I made this a long time ago. These are, like, because I've liked to cook for a long time, and these are all recipes. Like, there's a lot. <laughs> these are all recipes that I have tried and that I like. And I did set it up, too, in the front here, like, there's crock pot, supper, sides. Um, but anyways, my barbacoa tacos is what they're called. Okay, so I, like, well, first off, um, if you're going to ever put a roast or anything like that in the crock pot, always sear it first in a pan because it, like, I think it... It like I don't know it just tastes better it holds in the moisture and it just it's really good so anyways um so for this I need vegetable oil three and a half pounds of chuck um this is uh this is like two and a half pounds so this is like a pound short so I'm gonna have to like put less um beef broth in there um because then it calls also for then half a cup of beef broth. Then we need chili powder, salt, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, paprika, black pepper, a lime, which I don't have a lime, but I have lime juice. Um, and then cilantro, but that's, I think that's just for the end. Um, so yeah, and it's really easy. Um, you just have a bunch of seasonings you have to add. And this is, like, probably one of my favorite meals. Like, it is delicious. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a little time lapse. And since I kind of told you, I need a, so the, let's see, the salt and chili powder, I need one tablespoon. But then the garlic and onion powder, cumin, paprika, and pepper, I need one teaspoon. And then, yeah, so, and like I said, half a cup of beef broth, which, shoot, I hope I, oh, I have that one stuff, so. But I am probably going to do a little less of the beef broth, just because, like, just probably a little under half a cup, just because I have, it calls for three and a half pounds of a roast, and I don't want it to be too watery. But then again, I don't, I don't think it really matters that much, because I use, I don't know, we'll see, so. were in high school when they met And things got kinda awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper Started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like Ooh Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song 
tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight As they kept on dancing the sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way or steal the show oh they're in love now good and I morning want you guys to know. so I forgot to show you my supper yesterday um the meat did not it didn't turn out like it usually does I'm not really sure why um it was still good it was I, I those are honestly my favorite kind of tacos and I'm gonna make myself a couple for lunch um, so I'll share that with you guys and you can see like what we ate for supper because I, f I dropped the ball yesterday. Um, but anyways, so today is what Thursday, uh, what do we got going on? So I probably, so I'm going to start a little wash. Um, there's a garage sale actually going on and it was like $1 kids clothing. So I'm going to check that out for some clothes for Blaine. He he needs some like summer clothes, some three T summer clothes. Um, okay, but I wanted to share. So I had showed you guys my there's a piece of hair, my arms in one of my vlogs and just how how bad they are. Um, so my doctor suggested I get different gel. So I've been putting this on my arms. And I noticed that, so I have a friend that uses different gel on her face. She's got acne. And she said it, she feels like it's really helping. She had to go to every other day because it, like, was burning her face. Like, I don't know, like, getting red. Well, I noticed my arms are getting red. And I, I'm, I'm going to assume it's from the different gel. But that's fine with me um, because I just want to get rid of these bumps I am so insecure about them like they've gotten so bad within the last couple of years um like just awful I don't know you guys can't really see but it, I mean just they're just so visible I've always had them but they weren't always so like there like now they're like red and I don't know they were used to be like more like the color of my skin I felt like um which Jack has it really bad too on his forearms. He, but you can't see it. You can just feel like if he rubs up next to you, you're like, what? Like it, it almost, Jack's arms actually feel like, like sandpaper, but you can't see his bumps. Um, and I noticed Blaine's starting to get bumps on his arms too. So I don't know. Um, just annoying, really annoying actually. I don't, I feel bad that Blaine's getting it. And uh, well, Jack, I don't know. Jack's not my biological child, so he obviously he didn't get that from me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's like we just all have bad skin, I guess. I don't, I've always had great skin. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Because over time, and I really think a lot of it, too. Oh, there's a gray hair. I really think a lot of it, too, is just all the sun exposure I've had and not taking care of my skin, like, not wearing sunscreen so um I did incorporate well starting today I put sunscreen on my face I'm just going to because I want to keep my face like youthful obviously I'm going to start wearing this every day um it's SPF 70 and Neutrogena I just got it at Walmart I think this was like the cheapest one I could find like I'm not yeah I'm just going to pull this gray hair out though got it got a little little gray hair <laughs> Uh, some days I could just stand in the mirror. Oh yeah, I should share this too. I put olive oil in my hair last night and I slept in it. Um, so I just washed my roots and then I, like, so I don't know if, like, the ends are gonna still have the olive oil and my hair's gonna be, like, nice and 
not frizzy today. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I slept in it overnight. And I'm just hoping that my hair dries, like, good, you know? So it's, like, this doesn't look frizzy here. I just washed the roots of my hair just so that that wasn't crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm, obviously I'll show you guys what my hair dries like if it dries good. Gosh, my face is so, like, feels so oily now because that's sunscreen, though. I'm, I'm going to have to put a little less on next time. My, okay, my worry about the sunscreen is, though, I, I like in the summer, I get really tan, and I like that. Um, and I'm worried I'm not going to get tan, but I do have, like, an olive skin tone, so I guess I'm probably fine. I just won't get as tan, which is fine. Like, at least I'll have my, at least my skin will be fine. But anyways, I am going to go get some laundry done. Blaine. He's crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some laundry done and then I think we're gonna run to I have a couple things I want to get from the grocery store and run to the Okay, so I actually stopped at a bunch of garage sales. I finally just got home. I made some lunch. Um I forgot to record it so I didn't show myself making it. But here's the taco. I put a ton of cilantro on mine too. Um yeah, these are my favorite. Um Willie's eating one, he's home for lunch, and then Blaine's got a corn dog. You love that. Oh my goodness, you really like that. Oh, but after I'm done eating, I'm going to show you guys some of my garage sale finds. I got something that I'm really excited about. Super good deal. Hello. So, I actually don't know when I recorded last. I have been really busy the last couple days. Um, but today is Saturday. It's 2.03. It's actually the day before Mother's Day. I just got home. I went over to my friends to hang out for a bit. And. Yeah, so I went. Sorry, we just got home. So I did a bunch of garage selling. And I want to do a quick call for you guys, but I'm going to let the dog bark it up in here really quick. Hello, so today is Mother's Day. I recorded for like, I don't even know, a couple seconds and then I was going to do a haul and just never got around to it. I, what did I do? I don't know, I, I've been really, it's been a really busy um, week, weekend. And we're home. Today we went to Discovery World. We took Blaine there and Willie's mom. And, yeah, we checked that out. We were going to go to the zoo, but then it was supposed to rain, so we didn't do the zoo. Because um, um, Discovery World, World is inside. So we got back from that about 2.30ish, and it's about 3.30 right now. I just did up the dishes. And what did I do? Yes. Oh, I planted my flowers yesterday. I'll have to take you guys out there and show you my flower pots. Willie got me a couple hang, hanging ones. Um, actually, my friend got me this rose, and she made, like, a bunch of picture frames with pictures. It was so cute. Like, she had them set up in our porch. So when we walked in from when we got home, it was all sitting there. It was just, it was, like, the sweetest thing. So it's been a really good Mother's Day. Um, I feel really blessed, and I feel loved. I feel, I feel special. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so uh, what else? I don't know, we did a lot. I don't even, like, remember what we all did, to be honest. We did. The one day we went to Amish, we got, that's where I got all my flowers. I, we went to the bakery. I don't know if I told you all this. And then went garage sailing. And yeah, so let's actually get into the garage sale haul. Let me grab everything. Okay, so I also, I do want to, I'll show you guys this first. I put the box downstairs. It's all set up. But I found one of those Hot Wheels things. It's like a dinosaur. What's up, Blaine? It's like a big dinosaur Hot Wheels thing. And I looked up online. Brand new, it's $125. Well, I found one brand new, still in the box. They sold it to me for $20. Let me just show you guys. Don't mind the mess. But this. And then the dinosaur pops out of there at some point. But yeah, how cool is that? The boys did get some puppets. Um, their Nana got that for them at one of the sales. Sorry, there's like a mess everywhere. What? You want your puppet? 
<laughs> yeah. And then they got, they got like, a, what else? They got a few more toys. I'm not going to show you guys that, but I think the kids almost got more than I, yeah, they did get more than I did um, with the clothes and everything. So let's see this big. Oh, here, this is stuff I got for Jack. I got this t-shirt. It's a Nike one. And I want to say I paid, oh, I paid 50 cents for that. Like, this is why I love garage sailing. Like, the, the prices of this stuff is insane. This one was 25 cents, and this is just an Under Armour t-shirt. For Jack. And then Jack's been really into, this is 50 cents. He's been really into the Milwaukee Bucks. So thought we'd get him I'd get him that. And then I got him an Under Armour tank top. I don't know how much this was. This was probably a quarter. Actually, I gotta wash all this, so I'll throw it down. Although it does smell good. Um, another tank top, Under Armour tank top. I don't see a price tag, but I'm gonna guess it's 25 cents. That one's really cool. I like that. And then these I got for myself. They were a dollar. Um, and if they don't fit me, I, I'll just resell them. But they're capris. They're the, they might be a bit big for me. I don't know, but they're the, did you say Vigos or Vigos? I don't know. But they are a size. See, that was it. I couldn't find the size and they look a little big. But I'm also at the point with my body right now where Things look too big and then they fit perfect. So, yeah, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I could not find the size tag. So I don't really know what size they are. There's those. Um, oh, I did get a couple things for myself, I guess. Oh, yeah, I also got this little Sensi pack. So there's just one missing in it um, for only 25 cents, which... If you shop with Sensi, you know that that is a dang good deal. It's like $6 per pack, and this is only missing one little cube. And it smells so good. And she actually had a bunch. I should have got more, but this one smells like delicious. I can't wait to use that. But yeah, $0.25. Cents. That is a steal. Um, And then I got this crew neck sweater. I just thought that would be really cute. I need more like... I don't know different clothes so that was two bucks um this was four, oh i'm surprised i bought that um i mean still cheap but it was four dollars it's a fox hoodie oh i didn't even see the back so there's that and then i just actually saw the back big fox logo um this i don't this is a size medium so that's just a good sweatshirt for me whatever um, okay, so at this garage sale, I don't have everything in the bag right now, but I got, the lady was, she must have buy, she must buy, like, pallets and stuff. Um, so this is CoverGirl, just a mascara, a couple bucks, so I got that. I got a thing of conditioner, it's Pantene for, like, three bucks, and then I got a little mini hairspray to put in my purse that was a dollar, so that's what I got from that one. What's up? Grab it. Go grab it. Okay. And then, let's see. Oh, I found this pack, Nike Packers t-shirt. I thought Jack could keep that. Because that is his size, right? Yeah, it's a medium. Yeah, Jack would fit in that. Um, And then this I got. I didn't know if Willie would want it or not. But if he doesn't, I did get it for to resell then. Um, I think I only paid a dollar tops for it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten it if I had paid any more than that I think because I didn't think I really doesn't want them he's not into that um then I got this I thought this is cool it's a Packers t-shirt a camel one um what's this oh this is a Nike Air t-shirt and this that's all gonna be for reselling and then, oh, then Motor Davidson, Harley, Harley Davidson, um, says Harley Davidson. I thought either I could save that for, I don't blame, that hurts. He's playing with his puppet. 
And he just pulled my hair. Um, I thought I could save this for Blaine or try to resell it. I might try to resell that. I don't know. Because that might be a couple years or a year or so before he grows into it. And last but not least, so this I was really excited for. I All of this stuff I got for $10 is for Blaine. I was mainly searching for summer clothes for Blaine, like t-shirts and shorts. Because that's really what he needed. But I did. So everything in this bag was a dollar per item. So there's 10 items. I paid 10 bucks for this. So I got him these little Puma shoes. How cute are these? These will fit him probably next year. So I was like, oh, cute. And they're just little slip-ons. And then got a little Puma t-shirt. A champion t-shirt. And again, all of this was $1 a piece got a Nike t-shirt which these are by the way these are all in like excellent condition snack time there you go you thank say thank you mama um then I found this Nike hoodie I thought this was so cute again a dollar for that that's insane um I got him some little Reebok sweatpants and then along with it comes this zip up sweatshirt hooded sweatshirt yeah super cute love it love it um let's see then we got another little nike t-shirt this one does look a little bit small i'll have to see how it fits him um this might be pushing it for sure but i think it'll still fit a little bit then we've got some nike shorts and then some puma shorts and yeah, that is everything I got garage selling. Let me put all this. This is the stuff I'm going to be reselling. Um, I'm happy with it. I was really happy with the little Nike and Puma and Champion clothes I got for Blaine. I feel like that is a steal. Because it literally is in excellent condition. So, yeah. Um, regardless, it's been a very busy few days. And... Just on the go, nonstop. Um, like I said, busy. So now today I've got a lot of work I want to catch up on. Getting some photos done, listings. I have to go to my storage unit, get stuff ready for shipping tomorrow because tomorrow's Monday. And yeah, I got to work tomorrow. I got a couple houses I have to clean. So I've got a busy day. And. Yeah, I've got, I just have a busy month coming up. I don't know if I've shared this yet, but my um, month is looking really busy, which the rest of the month. And I'm, I'm really happy about that because it's a lot more cleaning hours. So I've got to get as much done reselling as I can, like, on the weekends and YouTube-wise. So next thing on my list for today is i don't know what we're having for supper by the way i'm still kind of trying to decide i don't know but next thing on my list right now i'm gonna go film an unboxing for my um palette for my palette unboxings i'm gonna go film one because i started opening it to take pictures i needed more pictures so that's what i'm gonna do now and i guess i will I guess I'll come back when I'm making supper. Hopefully. Hopefully I remember. Hopefully I end up doing it. I don't know. I've been pretty MIA. And this video is... I don't know how long it is. Or how many days this is stretched over. But, yeah. Mm -hmm.